Students and faculty at the University of Maryland School of Dentistry greeted three players with the Washington Redskins who had been invited to share their thoughts and some autographs. The teammates accompanied an alum of the school who is both a dentist and the inventor of a mouth guard widely used by professional athletes. How old are you? 13. Who's this? 13. At the National Museum of Dentistry on the same day, students at Green Street Academy were eager to see and hear from players too. All had come to help observe National Facial Protection Month. And for young and old, the message was similar. Raise awareness about the need for athletes to wear mouth guards. One goal is to keep children and adolescents from injuring millions of teeth each year. Many of these injuries occur in the 30 million students that play uh, sports. We're here today to hear from Dr. Michael Wright and his colleagues, NFL players Vernon Davis, Kendall Fuller, and A.J. Francis, who you recognize from the Washington Redskins. They're here to talk about the importance of using mouth guard protection when you participate in sports. Today is a great day. I'm going to share with you uh, my passion today on a very important topic. As the dean pointed out, there's between three and five million teeth that are knocked out each and every year due to sports-related injuries. And that translates to over $500 million in cost. And it's real. I treat it every single day. A teammate of mine who didn't wear a mouth guard, and he would always say, oh, you know, I can't breathe when I got my mouth guard in. Two years later, in a game, while not wearing a mouth guard, he gets two of his teeth knocked out. This one right here, and that one right there. And he, I don't know how, he had kept playing in the game, but after the game, he couldn't play for another two weeks. And that's all because for no reason other than he didn't want to, he didn't have his mouth guard in. And it's a very simple solution to a problem that is gonna cause you way more hassle than if you just wear your mouth guard. Any type of surgery in your mouth is not something if you can't avoid, avoid it at all costs. I just hope that you guys take this thing serious. Take it serious because it is serious. And if you take care of yourself and you just continue to listen to people like Dr. Wright, my teammates, you'll go a long way. You'll be prosperous and Everything will happen for you. You won't be the guy that's sitting on the sideline looking at your teammates with a missing tooth or wondering why he didn't take care of himself. I think this is a great event to have these athletes take their time to come out here and speak to these children. Um, and this is what we hope to do to get that message to whatever other activities children are involved in and to attach oral health to that so that they now are going to place that as a priority in their lives, not just now, but throughout their entire lives. At the dental school, the presentation by Wright and the players got technical, covering his role as inventor. But it also included a reminder of how the pros shape youth behavior, as well as a view from the field. And that helped students grasp their future roles in safeguarding patients' health and their teeth. I think as a kid, that was more because like you said, back then in the NFL, guys didn't wear mouthpieces. I and mean, it was kind of like whatever they did, that's what I'm going to do. So I remember, you know, sometimes when you get weighed in and things like that, they'll check and see if you had a mouthpiece. And after that, you're just like, all right. But, it's <laughs> but whatever students heard from the players, it was what they saw that will likely have lasting impact. This is a really big hit. And, and I, I can't say this enough. I'm glad that Vernon is sitting with us right now. And if you did watch the game, I introduced Cam Chancellor. And if you missed it, we're going to look at it in slow motion. And he rose. And he's here. He's alive. <laughs> Surprisingly, I was here for the expert, but it was nice seeing the patients and hearing their perspective because a lot of times um, we listen to our faculty members, we listen to each other, but the patient's input isn't really um, taken as much as we should take it into consideration. Uh, and to hear professional footballers tell you that something as simple as a mouth guard can change their ability to play the game, it's uh, mind-blowing. On a day devoted to oral health, the players got a chance to tour the museum, which is a Smithsonian affiliate. 
And just like the middle schoolers who had their own tour, the Redskins enjoyed the dental history and the hands-on learning. Backside. Backside, all right, all right. <laughs> then what's next? Backside. <laughs> then I'll kind of go like right here a little bit. Right. On the teeth. Make it